so at Te Kura we offer a wide range of subjects and we it's possible for students to do just some standards from some subjects whereas at a mainstream school they're often a bit confined by timetables and things. Sam came through as part of the Gateway program. Um, it was a eight week course, uh, one day a week. Um, Sam was with us from it was 8.30 to 4.30. I've been given a lot of support through Takura with heading towards the career path that I want to do. I really want to do um, mechanics. It just uh, eventuated off an email um, through Sue, sent me an email through the school. And um, yeah, it was pretty much, hey, we've got the room, we've got the space, we've got the work. Why not help the kid out and you know, give him a crack at following his dream as a, as a motor mechanic. Well, yeah, now going into the nine-week gateway program, it, it's good to see what you might be doing on a day-to-day -day basis as a mechanic. Learning, servicing, uh, vehicle repairs, you know, he got his hands dirty a couple of times. Uh, it, it was cool just to see the environment and see what I'm heading into. And He, he got a good grounding in washing floors, washing cars, picking up parts, everything that any apprentice, including myself, has been through and done. But he had the right attitude where it was, okay, I'll go do it. Where you get some kids that get, oh, I'm here to learn and work on cars. I'm like, well, that's not the job 24 seven. So Sam picked it up really, really well. And um, yeah, it was part of the job. Yeah, no, it really did confirm my, my like passion for mechanics. It's. Yeah, I, I don't know, I just love being under cars and seeing everything that's going on. It's also complicated, but but just, yeah, I don't know, I like it all. It's, it's very cool. But yeah, cool little program. Um, good feeder into what to expect if you do get that apprenticeship, and I think it helped them immensely. And there's other options like STAR courses, which we really encourage our Arkonga to attend. So um, we had a student who, who we sent on a um, barista course and he really enjoyed that and he just it's about learning some skills if you don't know what your passions or interests are we encourage our Arkonga to engage in things to help them discover what they might be interested in. When we choose the, it's either we choose the courses off a long list of what we like is available or we get our kaimanaki to suggest something like I did. Um, so near the start of the year, I had the opportunity to do a barista course. I did multiple of them. I did barista courses, uh, pathway courses, first aid, and health and safety. So I did the MITRE 10 Leaving to Learn course, and that was really, really useful for me. So I went in for a week and worked from like, nine to three at MITRE 10 and we got a different like department every day and I found it was really helpful if I wanted to say get a job in a cafe or use those credentials somewhere else because you get your barista certificate so it's something that while it also gives you credits it also gives you real life experience for if you want to go further and get like a part-time job or something it can just like help you out. My 10 course that we did last week was very great. Everyone was very helpful, everyone was very friendly. Uh, we got all our work experience, so that's nice. We can put that on our CVs, we can get a, have fun with it. It was a very good experience, I loved it. And I found it really, really useful for me to experience what it's like to have like a normal job and to just like have to interact with customers and have to like figure out if I don't know what the answer to a question is, how I can find the answer to the question using other skills. And so we learned a lot of like, um, well we learned about like theft and fraud and how to like s see that and we learned like how to lift heavy items safely and like so many different things, like a massive range. We also, I don't know, we had a day on the cashier or like the um, checkouts and so that was really useful because that's obviously a job that can be translated into a lot of different jobs. So I found that really useful to um, have, know how to use I guess. So that end, I think making coffee just helped you see what, when you go into a coffee shop, you see a barista, you don't really 
like acknowledge that like, it's a person, I feel like. You just like start talking to them, it's a service. But you need to like start realizing that they're people, they like have a life, they live it. Kind of can't be like rude to them. I kind of learned that during the course and during the Mitre 10 thing when I was helping our customers. They were very nice, but it's not like a, it didn't feel like a real interaction sometimes. So there was a couple customers that were very nice, very talkative, and that was uplifting for the day. We took some students to MIT um, to find out about the different schools and options that, that there are there at MIT. There's this thing, things like that that are part of our Te Ara and Leaving to Learn approach.